In this video, I'm going to talk about making hyperlinks within your InDesign documents. So to start with, I've set up a document that looks like a PDF portfolio. And this is my table of contents. And then I have these four titles as section headers on various pages below. So if I open my pages palette, you can see my several pages. You can kind of see the little headings that are there. So in order to have hyperlinks, you have to have a destination for those hyperlinks. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down into my titles and I'll double click to get inside a text box. And at the beginning of the word, I'm going to insert my destination. So I'm going to go to window and then interactive and I want to open up my hyperlinks palette. So with hyperlinks open and my cursor at the beginning of the word, I'm going to click on the little right side menu and I'm going to choose new hyperlink destination. So I'm going to leave this as text anchor. We can see the other options are page and URL. And I'm not going to use pages because if you decide to add things to your document and these things change, we want our anchors to stay with the text and not just a page because this heading might end up on a different page. So I'll stick with text anchor and I will appropriately name it graphic design section and I'll click OK. So it looks like nothing has happened. It's all right. So I'm going to go down and do this for my others. So click before my heading, go to that side menu, choose new hyperlink destination, and spell correctly. And the same for photography and the same for internship. All right, so now we have destinations. Now we can make the links. You can't make a link without a destination first. So that's why we started that way. So I'll start by highlighting graphic design. And I'll click that same side menu and I'll choose new hyperlink. So in this case, I can see I have some similar options as well as things like embedding a link that generates um, the default email application to open, which we can use on our email addresses. Um, I'm going to stick with text anchor, and when I do that, it'll ask me which document. So I have my poorly named document here, and also which text anchor. So if I open this menu, I have those four things that I just made. So it's a little misleading that nothing seems to happen when you create a destination, but this is really just listing the links. But since you can't have a link without a destination to go to, it looks at first like nothing happens. So this is my graphic design one. I'll choose graphic design. And notice here that it automatically wants to know what character style. So you should always have a character style ready. It's automatically going to create this one named hyperlink because I don't have any character styles in this document. I just have this paragraph style. So I'll come back to that and edit it later. And I'm going to leave these options the same for now. So I'll click OK. And we can see that this default web-like hyperlink style has been applied to that title. So I will do that with my others. So I'll highlight web design, go to my side menu, new hyperlink, for my text anchors, I'll choose web design, highlight photography, new hyperlink, and choose the photography text anchor, and finally internship. So 
So now that I have these all linked, I'm going to go to my character styles and there's the hyperlink that this process automatically generated. So in my character style options, I can choose formatting. So it doesn't change your font, it really just adds the color and the underline. So I'll go to character color and we can see that this hyperlink is a, actually an additional swatch that's added for us. So I'm just going to change them back to black. And for underline options, I'm going to turn it off. So we have these all linked up, so let's see how it works. Now, in order for these to work, you need to remember to export an interactive PDF. So I'm going to change this to Adobe PDF Interactive. And I'll just call it links one, send it to my desktop. And I'm going to check this view after exporting box. This is also in the print PDF. It just automatically opens the document as soon as you save it. So I don't need to change anything else here. And I will click export. And here's my document. So when I click on graphic design, it jumps down to the graphic design section. And web design, photography, and internship. So the benefit of using text anchors instead of page links is that if I end up moving some things around, so this page is my internship page, let's say I drop this way down here, and then I'm going to swap around web design and photography. So I'll make that change here. So I will cut that and paste it in, and you could see that it remembered it when I cut and pasted it in my hyperlinks palette. So now, quick scroll down, so graphic design still at the front, but then photography, then web design, and then internship down here. All right, so I'm going to save that. I'll go back to export, and again, Adobe PDF Interactive. and export. So because I use those text anchors, it's so easy to switch my pages around. I don't have to wor worry about the exact page number that anything is on. It's always going to jump to this text anchor, and that's in my text box.